Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to the one shot build progression. Now, guys, I've been in the kitchen recently, and I have been cooking. I have been cooking something so mischievous, and this build, if you decide to copy it, you will quite literally one shot anyone that you see. Oh, you see the top chime player, Cloudrum, over there? All you have to do is um, follow this build, and you'll be able to kill him, and he's gonna be like, yo, what? You just did all my health in one move, okay? So, um, now, let me explain how this is actually a one-shot build. So, it's going to be a um, assassination build with um, Poser's Ring. So, usually with, the, like, assassinations, right, they automatically get up when you do 40% for their health. But with Poser's Ring, you're not actually doing damage to them unless you unsheathe. And, now, this isn't just the build. After they get up, then you use Sightless Beam, and you do this. <laughs> This is a true combo. How Poser's Ring works is that um, when you unsheathe, it stuns them. They can't parry, they can't block, they can't do anything. But your Sightless Beam is already going off, right? So they just have to eat the Sightless Beam and um, with enough damage modifiers, which is what we're going to do. A sightless Beam does over 500 damage. True damage, by the way, because um, Sightless Beam is so cracked right now because it does 100% penetration. Which means it doesn't matter how much armor they have, it's going to do 500 true damage. So, yeah, I mean, people are just going to get demolished. I can't wait to make this build. So, obviously, we're going blinds here, and let's go to trial one. All right, trial one we go. Okay, we're in lower reset. Let's just sail over to trial one real quick. My little boat. My little, little boat. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, this build is going to be so fun to make. Um, very toxic. Um, if, if one of you guys decide to copy this build and use it against me... I am definitely gonna be very mad, okay? Also, why does my why does my like deep broken character look so depressed, bro? Like usually he has like a smile on his face, but uh, not today. Bro said neutral face today. <laughs> no, he kind of frowning though, to be honest. I don't know why. All right, we're at Minotrisa. Um, let's go get the the Ace book real quick because uh, I just want as much Aces as possible. So we have to go talk to the like the little guy that wants to, like steal the Minotrisa's like uh, lore or their secrets. So. So my food and thirst is absolutely like dead. Oh my god, my food and thirst is non-existent, bro. I'm struggling like so much to get up here, bro. Hold on, let me put down a guild base and let me go just uh, jump on top of the guild base. All right, Vactus. Vactus is the best guild. Uh, oh my god, I'm about to get banned. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no way. I still can't get up, right? Even after I put down the guild base. Hold on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's talk to this guy. There we go. And now let's go get the book real quick, you guys. Make sure every single time you're doing trial one, make sure you always do that quest. He gives you like three aces. It's actually insane. And those aces actually really help. So get, let's get the book. And now let's go back up to him. Oh my God. I'm already two bars because the guys keep sniping me with their mantra. So I might not be able to like climb up no more because you're like climbing distance is lowered the lower health you are. Okay. I was fine. All right. Let's give the book to him and we got our aces. All right. Now we can actually do trial one. So yeah, let's go there. Okay. Let's go inside. All right, guys. Uh, let me just do the parry orb trial real quick. And then we should be chilling. Also, I went Lightborn just because it's drippy. There's no real reason for Lightborn. But you guys can choose any race for this build, by the way. Like, it doesn't require Lightborn. All right, so we're just going to go 40 willpower first thing. Because, like, um, we need to get blinds here for this build and Sightless Beam. So, like, the whole like the whole point of this build is Sightless Beam because of how much damage it does. Plus, like, the true combo with Sightless Beam into the uppercut Sightless Beam. Then Poser Ring to stun them. Which is a true combo, by the way. That's crazy. A 500 damage true combo that just milks their HP on top of, like, the assassination, too. Like, it's it's just, like, bro, it's just a crazy one-shot. I'm not gonna lie. That, that definitely needs to be nerfed. But let's just keep going willpower for now. Because we're gonna go, um, let's see. Okay, let's get Fishman since it doesn't lock out Condition Runner anymore. Okay, we're gonna burn Loot Skipper and we're gonna get Firmly Planted. Oh, Warriors Respite. There we go. And the mantra we get... Oh, we didn't get a mantra. Okay, let's just go Vitality. All right, let's kill this golem real quick. But yeah, this build is definitely needs a giant nerf. Because, like, I, you guys are going to see in the progression, I'm going to be quite literally, like, one-shotting people. It's going to be so, like, toxic. I can't wait to see their, like, their reaction, too. When they watch as as their HP goes from 0 to... No, from 100 to 0. It's going to be, like, insane. But yeah, we need to get blinds here as soon as possible for this build. So, let's just keep going 40 willpower. Okay, let's keep smacking this Thresher. What is going to be annoying, though, is, like, progressing blinds here. Because I need to save, like, I need to save people from the depths that are not only lower level than me. 
um, they also can't have an oath, and I didn't. I need to do that like eight times for Sightless Beam, so it's gonna be quite quite annoying to be honest. But bro, it, this the grind for this build is really worth it. I promise. Like this build is just cracked. All right, 40 willpower. There we go. Now we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go uh, 50 fortitude so we can get to the finish in exoskeleton because that's gonna be really useful. No plasticity. We're not gonna be, need this, so let's just burn it and let's get last resort. Um, we also need mental mental fortress talents for blind here, so we have to pick all this. So let's get this and let's get blood iron spirit. All right, we got exhaustion strike, which is a really good mantra. So let's put that on three and let's keep going vitality. We're gonna go four vitality, four proficiency, and four song chant. All right, let's keep going uh, forward, dude. Yeah, hey guys, if you guys are looking for a build that will kill anyone with no skill, as long as bro. Quite literally, as long as you land a, a single uppercut, you're going to do all their HP. Uh, then this build is perfect for you. Okay, let me just grip these guys real quick. Okay, there we go. Oh, we leveled up again. Let's see what we get. Oh, replenishing knockout. There we go. Perfect. Um, okay, I'm not getting any, like, mental fortress towns. Am I already? Do I have all of them already? Let me check. No, I only have one of them. So, like, what's up? Why, why am I not getting any of them? I mean, let's just get ready or not for now. And then let's get gaze. We'll put that on six just so we can annoy people. Okay. Enforcer. This guy's gonna be easy. I remember when, um, back in verse 1, I had to kill 48 Enforcers at level 1 in a row. Because, um, 48 Enforcers at level 1 equals Bell. So, I had to do 48 of them, and I died on my 44th Enforcer. Each Enforcer took me 8 minutes, by the way, and I had to do this in the depths. So, like, you can imagine how annoying that was. Alright, we have 44, dude. Now we just need 10 more, and we should be chilling. Okay, little Sand Knight. Um, yeah, but on top of the little, like, tech with the Sightless Beam for true combo, um, the assassination tech is just gonna, like, make it a thousand times worse. Like, like, not, not, like, make the build worse, but, like, make the build un- genuinely unfun to fight against because of how good it's gonna be, so. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to progress it. It's gonna be so annoying to fight. Okay, we leveled up again. Uh, we're gonna burn Imperious Slumber. And we also got a, a Mental Fortress talent, so we just need one more. So we can get blinds here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got our last mental fortress talent. And we got exoskeleton too. So let's get that. And let's go vitality. All right. Uh, let's just go 54, dude. There we go. And now what we can do is we can just put the rest into a Jody. All right, we love it up again. We also got a mantra. So let's see what we get. Okay, scuba drowner for the plus five HP. Oh my God. But there's mental fort uh, moving fortress too. Um, oh, to the finish. Perfect. We're getting really lucky with our cards actually. And let's get... Mm, okay, let's get sh shoulder bash for now. We'll put it on seven. You stand before the ultimate trial. All right, let's kill this guy real quick. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Why am I selling? No! Uh, oh my god, I'm gonna die! No, please! Okay, okay, okay. We're safe, we're safe. I, I, I almost sold so bad. All right, let's just put the rest into Jody, and we should be chilling. All right, there we go. All right, guys, uh, let's leave trial one now. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 25 a Jody for now, because we're gonna go 100 at the end of this build, but for now, I just want 25 Jody, and then I'm gonna go 25 medium weapons so I can equip a katana, get poses ring, get blind here for sightless beam, and then we start doing um, the combo on people. But before we do that, we do need um, EXP, so let's just do let's just do a single bounty, and that should be good for like two levels. So then we'll do uh, poses ring plus blind here after that. So let's go get a bounty, guys. Alright guys, we're in the uh, Void Heart. Let's use our Ankle Weights. Oh wait, we can't because we need to get EXP. But Alright, before we do any bounties, let's just repair our armor real quick. We do need 30 notes for that. So let me just sell something real quick. I'm going to sell this. And let's repair our armor. And then we'll do some bounties, guys. Okay? Just one bounty. And then I'm going to get Blinds here, a Sightless Beam, and Poser's Ring. So we can actually just start doing like the tech on people. So also, let me loot this real quick. Dang, he had a lot of stuff actually. I I'm taking all of this, to be honest. But just got his grave robbed. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, but just got robbed. Okay, let me eat the mushroom omelets and let's repair my armor. There we go. And now, guys, let's go and uh, do some bounties, okay? Just so we can level up and get our medium weapon to 25 so we can equip a katana and also so we can get our Jody to 25. Just so we can get like the Jody towns early on. But we are gonna go like 100 Jody, so it doesn't really matter in the long run. All right, guys, I see my first bounty. I'm looking for a Chad, so let me... He's part of the Four Melon Guild, so... Oh, there he is. Don't log on me. No. Dang it. Hold on. Don't log. Please. He's definitely going to log on me. Bro is, bro is running for his life. Bro, aren't, aren't there, like, four of you guys? Like, can you guys just not, like, team up together to fight me? Like... Oh, he has a katana, too. Wait, what if I just rob him for his katana? I'd be like... What if I, what if I say, like, drop me your katana? 
would that be mean? <laughs> what if I like knock him and like be like, I won't grip you if you give me a katana. Okay, let's let's just keep, uh, keep hitting him real quick because he's my bounty. Actually, all of these guys are my bounty now that I think about it. Also, that, that guy is a guy in rags with a shattered katana. That is not... Oh, no, no, that's not a shattered. It's just a star sword, but let me keep chasing after this guy. He keeps running, so I'm going to use gaze on him. And boom, boom. Let's do the critical. Uh, his his adret friend is like trying to help him. Actually, all of them are trying to help now. So let's keep attacking this guy. Boom. There we go. Okay, he should be almost knocked because he doesn't look that high of a level, to be honest. And he's the leader, too. So we have him knocked. Now his friends are going to step in. Let's just kill his friends. And what if I be like, yo, I'm going to grip your friends unless you give me that katana. <laughs> but I kind of need... Leave my freshies alone, please. What do you mean? There's three of them on me. Hold on, wait. If he's begging for their lives, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, I only want you. I only want your katana. I'll leave them alone for your katana. <laughs> Dude, guys, is that evil? Let me know. Like, is it is it messed up for me to do that? Um, hold on. I need to make sure he's always grabbed. He said, leave them. And he's like screaming. Bro, I think he's like a main character or something. Can we lock in? Can we walk in, please? Okay, that's two of them dead. Now, just one more. He's coming right now. And bro's gonna... I'm gonna put them all in a pile. He said, please, my babies. He said, I tried. Why is this actually kind of low-key sad? <laughs> he said, I tried. Sorry. And, and, and he's telling this guy to run. Hold on, I'm gonna put them all in a pile. And I'm gonna be like, hold on, hold on. I, I have the perfect idea. Listen, listen. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me get this guy closer in the pile. Okay, okay, wait. I'm gonna be like, give me your katana and I won't grip them. <laughs> Do you accept? He says, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm really robbing his weapon right now. No way. No, no way he's letting me do this to him. He said, but first, screenshot. Okay, whatever. Okay, I think he's trying to unequip his katana right now. Nah, because why do I actually have like three of his friends hostage right now for a, for a single katana? Oh, he brought his max level friend. No way. You traitor. <laughs> no, this is not part of the deal. Step back. Or they die. Or they die. <laughs> Step back. Step back. <laughs> why am I doing this? He says, stop, I'll give, let me put them in the pile. I'll give sword. Step back now. <laughs> no way I'm doing like a, a little hostage situation. I just want the katana, man. That's all I want. Give me the katana. <laughs> just like bandits trying to step in and save them. Dude, I feel low-key bad. Why are they all like slumped like this, bro? Like, <laughs> well, I, I feel low-key bad. It says my prey is close to escaping, so I hope I don't get teleported out. That'd be pretty lame. I just want the katana, man. That's all I want. Uh, so you can't even say I'm bullying freshies because I am a freshie. He said, my babies. Does he have the katana? Give the katana. Give it up. And this guy said, bruh. He's giving him a Gale Hero Blade so he can equip it and like swap it out for the katana. Oh, he dropped the katana. Good doing business with you. <laughs> no way I robbed him of his katana. <laughs> you said, thanks, thanks. <laughs> what? I'm so evil, bro. But guys, at least we got the katana now. He said, sorry, leader. Wait. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> I'm so evil. All right, guys. Um, well, let me just get teleported out and then we'll do some more bounties. But hopefully we don't die with the katana because it took me it took me doing all that to get it. So, all right, guys, let's do some more bounties so we can actually level up because like that gave me no XP, to be honest. Like, look, I can't even use my Inca weight. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, wait, that did give me XP. Let me use my weapon manual now so we can get 25 medium weapons to equip the katana. Oh, bro, harassing those freshies actually gave me XP. All right, let's get Speed Demon, okay? That's the easiest thing of our life. Um, we'll also get Endurance Runner because we need to get um, Condition Runner. Um, now, we're going to go Tap Dancer, so we're not going to get Risky Moves. Let's burn that, and instead, we'll go Blade Dancer. Why is my why is my mic on in-game? But um, And let's just go for Vitality, and now we'll go Song Chant next. So we're going to go for Vitality, for Persistency, and for Song Chant. So, okay, let's let's go do some bounties, guys. All right, guys, um, I have a couple bounties at Lower Aresia. There's like four of their goad mates in the server, so it might be a little bit tough. And there's also this this bandit on me. Like, hello? Where did this bandit even come from? All right. So this guy's my bounty. Actually, all of them are my bounty. And why is the server so laggy? Oh my, oh my. Okay, let's kill these guys real quick. It's like three max levels. And there's also like another goad mate in the server that we haven't seen yet. But right now we just see three of them. So also, this server sucks. It may, it may look like I'm getting four bars of ping, but I'm really, I'm really not. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, they're just hitting each other. Here, I need to um, I need to get this guy knocked because um, this guy's my actual bounty. Also, that bandit's about to get up too, so uh, I need to just stay close on him. And also, no way the bandit's back on me. Oh no, no, the bandit's on the third guy. Okay, the bandit's actually not selling me this time, so that's really good. Also, where did the dark steel guy go? Hello? Okay, let me just keep chasing this guy. Okay, boom. Bro, this this guy is on me, bro. I mean, I don't blame him. He's trying to help his friend. Let's do this. And he's knocked. Nice. Okay, our bounty's knocked. So we're chilling now. Let's just kill these guys too. Um, it's like three max levels. Or they might not be max max, but they're, they're close enough to max. Okay, boom. Let's pick him up. And now, we, now it's just a 2v1 instead of a uh, 3v1. So it's a lot more doable now. Oh my... Oh my, my health! Get off me, please! Get off me! Bro, I hate how, like, venting, like, makes you drop the guy. Like, it, it's so annoying, because, like, I just have to play, like, a game of, like, um, of juggle. And I don't want to play a game of juggle. I just want to play a game of deep book, and I don't want to have to keep, like, juggling the guy I have knocked. Because, um, also, my posture is low, so. Uh, let me use shoulder bash. Wait, I have no ether. How do I not have ether, bro? Hello? Can we please lock in? Oh, this guy's definitely low because he's playing so passive now. Alright. Let me just uh, keep hitting this guy. He's very low, obviously, because... I mean, uh, is he though? I mean, I, I just hit him like 10 times after I just said he's low. So, okay, no, he's running now, so he's low. Alright. Let's use shoulder bash on this guy. And it just completely failed. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Exhaustion strike. There we go. We're chilling. Okay, okay. I just had to keep them in like, um... Ow. Ow! Okay. I don't know if this guy... Hold on, I just want to pick up my bounty. Because my bounty is all I care about. But they're all my bounty. But like, I if my bounty logs, then I get like teleported out. So like... Okay, let me just keep... No way, this guy had Imperial Slumber! That's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Okay. Well, I, I need to pick up this guy now. Because the other guy had Imperial Slumber. And if my bounty... Like, if, if the guy on the floor has Imperial Slumber, this wraps. Let's do this. Boom. Hold on. Let me... Okay, let me grip this guy. And we're baiting him to me. Oh my god. How did that, like, go through him each time? Bro, I'm only level 7. I'm 3 one Max levels, basically. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. I'm gripping. Nope. See, you, you gotta make... You, you gotta make them think that you're gonna commit to the grip. And then, then you just make them come close to you. So now I'm actually commit. Look, he doesn't believe it. Oh, no. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job though, to be honest. But I think I'm doing a better job. I just want to get this grip off, please. Nope. He said, dang weirdo. Uh, I'm just playing the game. Okay, I just want EXP. And when I grip you guys, this could be enough EXP for like three levels. I'm not going to lie. Oh my god. Okay, let me pick this guy up. Okay. How is this guy not dead? 1,000 in the hour, a thousand hours in the game looks like. Uh, he's not wrong. I do have a thousand hours in the game. To be honest, like, bro, actually called me out, kinda. All right, that's first bounty. Okay, um, Agrippa is also our bounty, and oh, this guy is also called Agrippa. They're all my bounties, and they're all like max levels. All right, there we go. Let's loot these chests. Let's see what we get. Um, Flamekeeper says this to them in that chest actually. Why? Why don't I ever get that luck whenever? Like, I'm on a fist build, bro, because I always be, like, begging for Flamekeeper Stasis. But, um, I'm gonna just loot all their stuff, because I'm gonna just sell it for notes, so that we don't have to worry about notes later down the line. Okay, guys? Also, they also had a Galestone, so that was really good. I'm probably gonna go and do the Galestone quest real quick, so I don't have to do that later. Because, for some reason, whenever you're looking for a Galestone, you're never gonna get one. And So, uh, I'm just gonna get that done now. And we can also probably also level up, so let me just keep looting these guys real quick. And then we'll level up, and all that. Alright, let's use our weapon manual. Oh yeah, we're eating. We're actually so eating. Those guys gave us like EXP for days. I, I don't have to worry about EXP ever again until like probably like 20 minutes down the line to be honest. You feel your medium weapon improving. Of course it's at 5 investment points. It's fine. I'm gonna go kill like a shark or something. I'm gonna do the, the Gale Stone quest real quick. No way this guy just said dead chat on to me and now he sent me a friend request. Like make up your mind bro. Like hello? Like this guy said this is what a thousand hours look like. And then he sent me a friend request. Wanna be my friend please? Like okay dude. 
Bro was just mad in the moment. Um, while I'm also here, I'm also going to do this charcoal quest too, so that we can get um, an extra talent the next time we level up. So yeah, I'm going to do all of that. Alright, let's talk to this guy. And basically, this quest is all you have to do is just kill a Sharko, and you get free talent on your next level up. So let me go to the little Sharko right here. Bro, why can't I find a Sharko? Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Wait, there's two of them. Oh my, there's two of them. Oh my, I'm lagging. This server is so bad. Oh, they both did a kick at the same time. Actually, this is free medium weapon XP as long as they don't get kicked into the acid pit. Oh, oh my god. Bro, he kicked me and then the other guy like slammed me. It's like they're doing team combos on me. Wait, I'm, I'm actually about to die. I'm not even gonna lie. Bro, I'm actually about to die. Why am I doing this at level 7? I'm not built for this yet. I'm actually not built for this. No way. I'm about to die. The shark goes, please. Oh, oh, that's one dead. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, it's saved. It's saved. It's not over yet. Let's keep swinging. Oh my god, it's so laggy that I'm swinging at like 0.1 swing speed. Alright, I can definitely level up from that. But before I do, let me just do the two quests real quick and then I'll level up. Oh, Valakus is my server. Barthomilo, Bar Barthomilo Spellheart. Okay. Alright, let's talk to this girl. Tell her that we killed two Sharkos. Um, and now there's a Sharko behind me too. So let me just kill this guy real quick. Bro, what happened to the server? Why am I swinging? Like, like I'm in like a gravity field. <laughs> okay. That's Sharko dead. Now let's just go to the Galestone guy so we don't have to do it later. Yeah, let's just run past this golem. Wait, who are these guys? What what faction are these guys a part of? Because I've never seen them before. Like, what? And why are they just standing in place? What, what guys, what faction is this? Like, I'm so confused. I've never seen these guys ever in my life. Uh, let me just grip one of them and see what they have to say to me. Oh, maybe they'll say like their faction name or something. I don't even know what like what armor they're wearing too. Okay, they're all knocked. Let me grip one of them. I won't be the last. We're gonna keep coming. What about you? What do you say? One last job. Uh, what about you? Ow. Okay, and you say I won't be the last. Okay, you say the same thing, guys. What faction was this? I'm so confused. But whatever. Uh, let me know in the comments. But let's go to the Galestone thing real quick. Also, let me just read the weapon manual real, real quick. Uh, we should be able to level up. I I'm confident we have enough medium weapon XP. So, all right. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what mantras or talents we get. Oh, we got observation. That's really good. Let's get that. Let's get brace collapse. There's Sharko somewhere here, but one other talent, Grasp on Reality or Time to Go. Um, okay, let's get Grasp on Reality. And for the mantra, we get, oh, Revenge. That's pretty good. Let's put on four. We're chilling. Let's give him the Gale Stone. And we're not going to go to the Vigils. We'll go to the Vigils once we have to actually, like, uncap our medium weapon. But I didn't want to, like, lose the Gale Stone if I died. So that's why I did the Gale Stone thing now. So now what we have to do is we have to get 25 medium weapon. I'm just going to go farm that off, like, a Shark or, or something. And I'm going to equip the katana, or I can just farm it off this mudskipper. But after that, I'm going to equip the katana, and we'll get poser ring. So yeah, let's do that, guys. This server sucks, though. I'm like swinging like negative swing speed. Also, I do need to sell like a lot of my stuff because I am like super slow right now. So yeah, let me just read off my weapon manual until um, I get 25 medium. Try to fight. Uh, I'll probably fight like a golem on the way to uh, vigils since we need to get the poser string. And uh, yeah. Oh, wait, there's, there's two bobs fighting over here so i'm gonna do it here wait where did these mudskippers come from hello oh they came from the grave but this is like actually perfect because i can just love I, I can just get 25 medium weapon from here but there's so many of them not gonna lie nope bro i'm not even gonna grip these mudskippers i just want to like hit them for like the medium weapon xp all right they're all dead let me see how much uh uh medium weapon that gave us so okay that's one two bro, i keep getting beat up while i'm reading this this book bro like okay that's three four and just one more and we'll be able to equip the katana so let's see oh my god we still need one more let me just kill this golem real quick to be honest oh and that's 25 okay once i'm out of combat so let me just kill this golem real quick so i can get out of combat and bro gripped the mudskippers for me bro's a very nice guy i'm also one bar and i'm level eight playing a golem but like um after this i'll equip the katana once i'm out of combat let me just kill this golem real quick oh my god i'm one percent oh my did i lose the katana that's the real question I lost the katana. I'm forced to go back because I died with the katana. Oh my god, bro. I should have just waited the three minutes, but I decided I didn't want to. And I spawned at Minitresa too, bro. Some like freshie that like just like that just stopped eating dirt is gonna hear that I died and go to my body and loot the katana. The katana that I like uh, bro, it took me it was so hard for me to get the katana. I had to hold like three people hostage for that. And I just lost it to a golem. Like, no way, right? Bro, I am gonna be so mad if the katana is not there no more. When I go to my, uh, when I go to my body. Yeah, if I see that skull disappears, I, I might cry on, like, video, bro. 
Not gonna lie, because that might be the saddest thing ever. Okay, I'm at lower reset. Let me do the 20 yard dash to uh to my body real quick. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, only like a few minutes left. Oh my god, I think my loot's still here. Uh, where's the katana? <gasps> the katana! Okay, I need to take all this stuff too, because I do need to sell it. But I'm so happy. Let me actually equip the katana real quick, guys. So here, let's equip this. And there we go. Oh my god, I'm so happy. We need the katana for the poser ring. That's why I like I'm so happy right now. But like, hope you guys can understand. <laughs> Super the unwanted lord loot bag. Well, what if I take like for every single every single time I die because I'm like a YouTuber, people always like take screenshots of my dead corpse. So what if I take a screenshot on my dead corpse, huh? Let's do resting. Well, let's get a stick out. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Cause I'm smoking the pack. I'm smoking the pack. So let me get like a lumber axe. Let me chop down this tree. Okay, let's get the wood. Now we turn the wood into sticks. There we go. Okay, now we equip the stick. Okay, and now we smoke the super pack. Wait, no, not not that. Hold on. I forgot which uh, emote it was, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Look, I'm smoking the super pack with Supa's uh, uh, loot pack. Look at me. Look at me. I'm cool, guys. I take a screenshot now. I, I post it. I go with Discord. I killed Supa. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have the katana. Um, let's go to videos real quick to get the poser ring quest. So, yeah, let's do that. Also, do I have a blindfold on me? Oh, I do have a blindfold on me. Okay, guys, before we do that, let's get blinds here real quick because we have all the... Um, blind we have all the mental fortress talents so and then we'll go to videos so we're getting a lot of stuff done now poser ring plus the blindfold plus like the three people we killed from bounties like actually give us so much exp because they're all like max levels or close to max like 17 to 20 bro i'm so slow because i have like so much stuff in my inventory i really need to sell it i i'm gonna just do it now real quick i'm gonna put down my goat base and talk to the merchant all right let's go inside uh the goat base let's talk to him and just sell everything except for the blindfold i almost just sold the blindfold that would have been really bad and really like depressing. And uh, if I saw the blindfold today, I might not take it anymore. Like today has been terrible to be honest. Today has been really, really bad. Okay, let's make this jump. There we go. And now let's get blind. Let's get blinds here, guys. Okay, let's equip the blindfold. There we go. Take the oath, and we have blinds here, guys. Okay, we have blinds here. Okay, guys. Um, we have we have the blindfold equipped now. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of ugly but we'll get through it. I tried to like get the blindfold off my character by unequipping the blindfold, but like it didn't work, but it doesn't really matter. We have blinds here now. Now let's just get the poser ring and then we'll go down to depths and we'll save some freshies so we can get sightless beam for the progression. So we can start doing the, the one shot combo with the people guys. Okay, I'm just gonna drop down all the way here and just see all the visuals. We got the katana, the blinds here. This is like, bro, this was not a well-deserved katana though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Three freshie hostages for one katana. I could have asked that man to like run his entire pocket and bro would have. <laughs> okay, let's spawn our boat. Let me kill these guys for health pack too because I'm, I'm really low because I just took like a lot of fall damage. Okay, there we go. And vigils we go. Okay, we have vigils. Um, now we just have to talk to this guy right here. The guy that's like, greetings, you don't look quite right, right, defend yourself. Uh, sure. Oh wait, no, this is not the right guy. It's this guy. There we go. You look familiar. And now we have to go to Etrus and fight him. Um, before we do that, let me just take the book quest real quick, and I'm also gonna take the um, I'm also gonna finish the Gale quest so we can get an extra uh, level up or an extra talent on our next level up. So these guys do not like me, but it's fine. I'm just gonna run past them. Okay, let's talk to this guy, and we'll do this when we're at Etrus, and let's just finish the Gale quest real quick. All right, let's talk to you. There we go. You've shown your compassion and grown from it. That means we're gonna get extra talent on our next level up. Also, while I'm like running, I might as well train my Jody while I run. Hopefully we can get like a level up. But now let's just go to Etrus, guys. And I'll train my Jody like as I run to these places. Because it's like three locations and it's a bit far each one. So, oh, we're going to be able to level up actually. So let's see what we get. Hidden Blade. Okay, guys. So since this can be assassination build, we need assassination talents, obviously. So let's get Hidden Blade. And let me just assassinate this guy so I can get assassination talents. Um, we'll also get ether kit because i've run out of ether very fast and oh we got health pack yippee bro i was wondering when are we would get health pack because and let's get reinforced as well yeah let's get reinforced and we'll put it on five there we go all right and now let's go um song chant so our sightless beam does a lot of damage okay guys to etrus we go also guys i just dm'd um demon fox to for like a dye packet because i i don't like how like the gray blindfold looks so i'm probably gonna die to either white or black so we're gonna see probably black to be honest Okay, we're at Etrus. Uh, let's go Nomad real quick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. The Nomads didn't uh, notice me. I need to assassinate the Nomads so that I can get assassination talents. So let me do that real quick. 
Oh my god, why did this nomad uh, see me though? Hold on, he's, he's about to ruin my entire plan. Hold on, let me, uh, here, let me crouch to this guy and assassinate him. Bro, this nomad just put me in combat, bro. And he's gonna alert all his friends. I, I just assassinated two of his friends. I just have to knock him. Okay, he's knocked. There's three free assassinations. All right, let me drop this guy so I can actually assassinate. So, one, two, and three. Okay, and, and we'll just grip... Actually, no. We'll leave this guy alive so that he knows that he just watched his entire tribe die. So, we'll leave him alive so he can warn, like, the next generation of nomads about the horrors that he saw. And this guy's here, so let's just kill him real quick. Boom. Um, I should be like a multi-hit because I'm... Oh, there we go. Good work. Next location is my second favorite hotspot, the Shores of Aresia. All right, guys, let's go to uh, Aresia now. Bro, why, why are these guys trying to, like, shoot me with the cannons? Hello? All right, I'm at Lower Aresia. Let's just go fight this guy real quick just so I can get the poser ring. I'm waiting on him to spawn for me. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Boom. Okay. Let's do gaze as well. I don't know why. Just to make him frightened by my spiritual pressure. <laughs> Boom. And there we go. I'll be heating things up for our next fight. Wait, can I grip this guy? What? I didn't know you could actually grip him. Oh, thank you. This guy just gave me a, a three star pen shatter katana. Why is it actually perfect for the build? I'm not gonna lie. All right, and now I'm gonna take this guy's boat. Uh, I'm probably not gonna ask, but uh, I'm gonna take this guy's boat. I'm gonna go to the Art Illuminate. So let's go there, guys. Bro does not care either. All right, we're in the Art Illuminate now. Um, so let's just go to Primadon now. This server is really bad. Uh, one bar of ping, but it's fine. It's a Kali server. Um, let's just go through here and we'll go to Primdon. All right, we're finally at Primdon. Let's just get this stupid poser's ring, bro. Why do they make you go like to heaven and earth to get this uh, ring? All right, he should be here somewhere. We're about to see. Also, I have not been training my ankle weight, so let me do that. Oh, wait. Okay, he's here. Okay, let me just kill him real quick. And there we go. Okay, we got poser's ring. Uh, it's right here. So let's equip it. And now... Uh, when, whenever we unsheath, wait, can I grip this guy? Oh, I can't. Again, you'll pay for this. But now, um, okay guys, so whenever we uh, hit someone, they're not going to take damage until we unsheath. So it's going to be very good. Um, now Demon Fox is in the server to die my blindfold, so let me reset to him. Okay, let's spawn in the guild base. Demon Fox should be waiting for us here. Alright, uh, oh, there he is. And now look, guys, when we hit him, he's not going to take any damage until we do this. Huh? What? What? Oh, it's not working because he has viscosity. But usually, guys, he would, like, take damage um, when I hit him. So, like, look, I'll hit the guards, and now look. Boom. Now he only took damage when I unsheathed. Um, I probably should not have done that, because now the hive guards hate me, bro. Here, I'm going to say go and go base. All right, we're safe now. Let me give Demon Fox the blindfold, and let me say black. And there we go. Okay, now let's equip it. And we're looking very drippy now, okay? We're looking very drippy. Uh, thank you, Demon Fox. Dark as I can go. Thank you, bro. He's he's, he's so goaded, bro. All right, guys. Um, now let's go to Lower Aresia. Oh wait, why can't? Oh, it's because I'm not power ten. Then I can't use it. But uh, let me just get power ten real quick with ankle weights, and then we'll go to Lower Aresia. We'll go down to depths, and we'll get sightless beam, guys. Let me just keep training my agility because we need like a hundred agility. Oh, all right. I leveled up. Let's see what I get, guys. Return to dark gauges. All right. So we're gonna burn this, and let's get swift rebound. Oh, let me assassinate this guy for uh, assassination talents. All right, we'll get base of expert. And, bro, we're not getting any assassination talents, but let's get grand support so we can get, uh, you know. All right, and we got dash. I don't, I don't really want dash, to be honest, so let's just roll two. And let's keep on song chant. And now we're power 10, so we can actually use these portals now. So let's go up here, and let's drop down here. And let's just go down. Oh, my, that was all my HP. But anyways, let's just go to the whirlpool, um, and we'll get sightless beam and progress um blinds here so then we can start doing the one shot combo on people guys okay let's hop in the whirlpool guys okay um so i'm just gonna have my friends so okay so max out blinds here you need to save like five people without an oath from like the depths and you do that by like uh, just going up the depths trial with them so um instead of just waiting for like five freshies i'm just gonna I just want to get a sightless beam as soon as possible so I can actually start doing this combo on people. So I am just going to ask Demon Fox to help me. So let me tell him the server I'm in. But yeah, we set this uh, save Demon Fox from depths five times on a slot where he doesn't have an oath. And then we're chilling. We're chilling. And uh, let me assassinate these guys. Yeah, I'm just going to assassinate these guys so that um, I can get assassination talents. Hopefully they don't like dislike me. Oh, look, it's Demon Fox. Yahoo. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go up. 
Um, they changed the way how like the depths works. So like the gate actually like closes automatically after it's open for 10 minutes. So we, we always have to like climb up here now. Like always. Only one barrel. Here, climb on my head, Demon Fox. No. We're gonna have to stack some barrels. Not gonna lie. Okay, we're making the great barrel um, wall right now. So that Demon Fox, the fresh, he can get up. Oh, he got up. All right, let's go. Um, I don't know how Demon Fox is gonna like jump all the way down here, but he'll find a way. Rose said, question mark, question, question mark. Okay, man. He said, wait, wait. I might... Bro, why is he not coming up? He said, I might have to wipe. Why? Oh, Demon Fox said he has like the flaws that like make the depth trial like a thousand times harder. So I need to wipe him real quick. So let's unsheath and bro's dead. All right, let's grip him. And bro's can come back. So now we just wait for Demon Fox to come back. No way, right? No way that guy is trying to kill me, right? If I go down and he just logged, like what? Bro, I just logged in and he like, he did like his hero blade critical on me. And like, I, I, I went down and bro just logged straight away. Like, oh, I see Demon Fox. Okay. Yeah, he disabled all the echo modifiers. He did have it. So bro's actually going to wipe. Watch the dude run from angels. All right. Uh, let's go save Demon Fox like five times just so we can get sightless beam. All right. I'm actually like curious, like what depth trial I'm going to get. So he said it's going to be two, but I can hold one off. I don't think so. I think it's just going to be one Sharko to be honest. I'm level 10. He said not nah, spawns too. I don't think so. We're about to find out. Yeah, Demon Fox was wrong. <laughs> bro was wrong and bro just got punted. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with this. So I'm just going to tell you guys whenever I finish uh, each escape. All right, I should. Oh, the K. We got mine suit. So that's one escape. Now four more. Guys, every single time I have to go to the whirlpool, I have to like drive all the way here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my void high here. So when I do escape like the depths, I just get teleported back here. So. All right, let's go get our second, third, and fourth stuff done. Bro, why is there a stack of barrels over there? What what are you trying to reach by stacking barrels on that tower specifically? Like, there's nothing to jump onto from there. All right, let's do our second uh, blinds here trial. Demon Fox is the goat. Okay, still a regular shark goat. Let me just kill it real quick. All right, number two, three more to go. Because we set our um, void eye in the middle of, like, the ocean by the void sea, when I, like, teleport, like, when I... Speak to the Void Mother right now. I'm gonna get teleported to the Whirlpool over. Like, look, there we go. It's that easy. I basically have like that one uh, deep bound thing where you can like teleport to the Whirlpool. Wait, this guy wants to go up. Do you have an oath? Okay, let's go up together. Okay, this guy's a crippled, and we're gonna go up together because um he doesn't have an oath. He's at Lightborn. <laughs> uh, this isn't Demon Fox, but this is just some random guy. Um, but I don't think it matters their level as long as they don't have an oath. Then you're chilling, I think. Okay, we're about to find out if I even get, like, progression for this, blind tier progression, because, um, I'm pretty sure you have to be higher level than them, and he's a crypt blade, so I'm definitely not higher level, because I'm only level 10. Oh, it's an enforcer. Yeah, I am definitely low level, level, but maybe they removed that requirement. We're about to see. It's enforcer dead. Oh, and I got the progression for it. Nice. We got Tranquil Circle. All right, just two more, and, and Demon Fox is still waiting down there. Guys, what's that one spark where you can make it, like, Tranquil Circle follow you around? I forgot but I'm definitely going to get that spark um, on Tranquil Circle. But for now, since I don't actually have it, I'm just going to leave it in my uh, hot bar. And let's go back to the Whirlpool. And only two more. And then we get Sightly Speed. So excited. Okay. Fourth Sharko. Sharko's dead. Did we get the progression? Yes, we do. All seeing eye. Invisible foes are highlighted. And now one more. And we get Sightless Beam. And we can start doing the one-shot combo on people. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. This is the last, the last, last trial. And then we're going to have Sightless Beam. Man, I'm so excited. Um, while I'm waiting for like the Shark with spawn, I'm just going to try to level up. Because I have one investment point left. I'm just putting it all into agility. Since this is also assassination build. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Alright, let me kill the Sharko. Oh, I leveled up. Hold on, let me level up first. Alright, let's get Scaredy. Oh, Tap Dancer. This is so unfair. Let me free Scaredy Cat and get Tap Dancer. Um, let's get Moving Fortress 2. Um, I also want Bloodthirsty, to be honest. Bro, what's happening with the Sharko? Is Demon Fox okay? And let's go song chant. All right, there we go. Now let's kill the Sharko. We'll help Demon Fox with the Sharko. I just had to level up real quick, but... Okay, we're back at Sightless Beam. There we go. He's dead. And give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, we got it. Okay, let me show you guys the combo. So, look. I did this. Uppercut. Oh, no. I failed it. Oh, but no. I mean, kind of worked, but I didn't do the uppercut, to be honest. Um, hold on. When I go back up to the surface, I'll show you guys. It's very cool. Not gonna lie. Big shout out to Demon Fox. Also... Also, not only shout out to Demon Fox, but shout out to uh, Swin YouTube. This is his this is his channel right here. Uh, he helped me get some stuff um, like 10 days ago. So shout out to his channel. Go subscribe if you want to him. But uh, yeah, let me go find someone to test this on. I'm very excited to see. 
Oh wait, I see a max level here. Hold on, I'm mean, like, yo, yo. Wait, bro's like a demon slayer build. Can I test combo? Come. Okay, I hit him once, so I have the poser ring stack. Okay, try to hurry after uppercut. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna uppercut him, right? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. And now this. Oh my God, he can't do anything. Oh my God, how much damage it do? <laughs> He's like, God damn, half his HP. How much HP do you have? Now guys, imagine if we like assassinated him too. Like imagine if we did like an assassination um, plus sightless beam. And also we still need to get damage mo modifiers. All right guys, so now you guys can see in action. Well, you guys just saw in action, but now let's go do some bounties and let's just one shot some people. Let's make some people cry because they just got one shotted by us. So guys, there's like a giant guild war down there. So I'm gonna just swoop in. I'm gonna one shot some people. I'm gonna make some people cry. So, yeah, I see I see that guy. Bro, this guy's not getting expected. Hold on. Let's do this. No, I didn't get the uppercut. I didn't get the uppercut again. It's fine. Okay. We just need an uppercut. Let me uppercut this guy. Okay. Oh, wait. Bro, Rage just, like, straight up died. I'm stuck in the air now. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Let me just fight any of these guys. I don't care who. Uh, we had to wait for a sightless beam to go off cooldown. So... We do need a, a blessed gem, to be honest, pretty badly. Also, let me just hit this guy so um, I can knock him for a health pack later on. Since they're all in the same guild, so... Alright. Hold on. If I can get uppercut off, I can do the tech. Oh, wait, no, no, I can't. Because, like, Sightless Beam is still on, on uh, cooldown. But let's do this. Uh, let's stop these guys from healing. Okay. Nope. Okay, Sightless Beam is off cooldown. Let's uppercut... Oh, I want to uppercut someone that wasn't knocked before. I forgot which one it was. Okay, there we go. Okay, this guy's about to get knocked right now. Bro. <laughs> Bro, this poor guy. Bro is so low right now. There we go. We just got health pack. Oh my god. Bro, there's so many of them on me. Yeah, I should probably... um. Oh, that guy has destination. I can use that against, like, against him. I just have to wait for a sightless beam to go off cooldown. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that guy's on fire. Wait, I I'm gonna hover over this guy. Make him proc detonation on me. Yeah. Oh, wait. He no, he just died the fire damage. <laughs> Bro, this build is so fun. Hold on, hold on. Let me uppercut him. Hold on. Uppercut. No. Oh my god, there's so many of them on me. Okay. I just have to get an uppercut off. Or you know what? I just realized. You don't even have to get an uppercut off. You just have to get the stun off. Here, look. We do this. Oh no. It's fine. I mean, we still got it off. Kinda. Oh my god, this build's cr genuinely cracked. Um, I'm having a tough time, like, landing it, because I just, like, made... I just got Sightless Beam right now. But... Oh, where are you running to? Hello? Can we lock in? Where is bro running to? Um, I might have to knock the Freshie, too. Or, I think the Freshie was knocked, so I might not get health back from him. Yeah, let's dodge that. Let's just keep hitting these guys. Nope. Boom. Bro. Okay. Sightless Beam is off cooldown, so I need to get uppercut off, or at least a hit. I don't even need to. I don't even need an uppercut to be honest. Okay, this is good. Now we'll do this, and then boom. Okay, he's gonna get posture broken. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, now this guy. Okay, critical. Oh my god, this build is cracked. Oh my god, this build is amazing. Hold on, let's do this, bro. Why is this build so good? <laughs> Guys, I, I'm not even doing it correctly either. And plus, um, it's not like completely one shine yet because we don't have all like the... We don't have all the um, like damage modifiers on the build yet. So let me make sure this guy doesn't go and heal. Because I see him. I see him running away. And our agility is unmatched because we're about to get 100 agility. So. Alright. Okay. Uh, there's two of them on me right now. Okay, let's do this. And now, boom! <laughs> Bro, the, 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 the poser rig stun, like, makes it so that they can't, they actually just can't do anything about it. I, we don't even, I just realized that you, you don't even need uppercut. You don't need uppercut at all. You just have to hit them once and they die. Oh, let me dodge out of that. Bro, I need to put either a bloodless gem on this or a blessed gem on, um, on this. Oh, he just killed his friend! Oh, he just killed his friend! Okay, bro. 
and I, I got teleported out. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. This build is cracked. Alright, guys, let me heal up. Alright, guys, I'm all healed up, and I need to put a I need to put a blessed gem on Sightless Beam ASAP. Now, as I said before. It's not one shine yet because we don't have all our damage multipliers. But bro, you don't even I didn't realize that you didn't even need an uppercut. All you have to do is hit them once, then uncheese your weapon. They get stunned because you uncheese your weapon, and then you're already your sightless beam is already going off, and it's literally undodgeable. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to them. Yeah, and bro, they killed their friend with detonation. That was actually crazy. I don't, I don't even care if I die like um this time. Cause I got lucky getting teleported out, but bro, it was so crazy. Well, let me jump down here. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh, he didn't get stunned. He had vis viscosity. Okay. Bro, there's so many of them on me. Okay. I'm gonna go after the guy with heroism for now. So, let's just get a single hit off. And then we either wait for our sightless beam. Boom. Just keep keep attacking. Oh, yeah. Bro, bro's gonna be so dead soon. Oh, wait. Nope. Get off me. Oh, sightless beam is off cooldown. So, let's do this. And there we go. He can't even vet me off because, like, look how far I am from him. Oh, my. It's so toxic. Dude, this build requires no skill to play. It's actually crazy. <laughs> Bro, I need, a, I need a bless gem so badly. This guy is definitely almost dead, by the way. Like, once I unsheath, he's dead. Like, I'm not even doing any damage with my M1s because I have 25 medium right now. But, oh, my God. This build is crazy. <laughs> Bro, I'm having so much fun. You guys have no idea. Here, let's do let's do sightless beam when it's off cooldown. Let's do this, this back up, and yep, he can't even vent me out. Oh, bro, he's hurting. And now we do this. Brother's hurting and out. Bro, did a bar to me. Not gonna lie. Now, guys, imagine this build with like Ishindring, uh, lose your mind, all the damage multipliers. Like it, it's it's a crack build. Not gonna lie. Okay, like, bro's getting worked, um, he is doing a bar for M1 to me, not gonna lie, but one more sightless beam, and bro should be dead, so, I would say this is, like, one of the best builds I've ever made, I'm level 10 doing this, I'm level 11 doing this, guys, by the way, just letting you guys know, like, bro, that is unescapable, look, he, he can't do anything about it, he actually can't do anything about that, oh my god, Super, use Sightless Beam, he said. Bro, I need a Blessed Gem on Sightless Beam so bad. Like, I don't know how he's not dead. Bro, is like, very tanky. Oh, you know what? It's because he's Silent Heart. Silent Heart has Mantra Resistance, but... Um, if this was any other guy, he would be dead after the second Sightless Beam. I think one more Sightless Beam, and he should be dead, so... Let's see. Bro, so scared. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I'm picking him up. Wait, they're letting me grip him, I think. Oh, they let me grip... That's pretty cool of them. Oh! Oh, I thought he had a I thought he had a blessed gem. I'm gonna ask them. Who has blessed gem? This guy gave me a hero blade of flame. Alright guys, uh, let's see if I can level up. Bro, this build is like so cracked. It's so fun to use. I've actually never had like this much fun on a build ever, to be honest. Like, this build is just so unfair because once once you do setless beam and you unsheath, like there's genuinely like nothing they can do about it. And I'm not even kidding when I say that. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this build got nerfed uh, very, very soon, to be honest. Oh, a Jody unbounded. Okay. Let's keep going at Jody. We should be with Love Up. And there we go. All right. Let's get cheap shot. Oh, this guy said, yo, screenshot. Let's assassinate for assassination talents. And there we go. We're starting to get assassination talents finally. So let's get unseen threat. There we go. Uh, we can just roll to this. Hopefully, we get some assassination talents. Spinning swordsman. That's pretty good, actually. And scaredy cat. Yo, do you have a blessed gem? Guys, I need a blessed gem so bad. Oh, he doesn't have one. All right, all right, guys. Um, that's the end of part one of the of the uh, one shot build progression, guys. This is actually one of the most like fun builds I've ever had because it's just so unbalanced. So I see you guys in part two. Um, it's gonna be even crazier because this is actually in one shot. We're gonna have like six song chant and a lot of damage multipliers. So yeah, I'll see you guys in part two. And yeah, bye bye, guys.